McDonald Mariga is a football icon in this country. And he shocked Kenyans when he announced that he was going to join politics. Because politics is a dirty game. And the question which most Kenyans asked was whether McDonald Mariga was actually going to succeed in politics or project McDonald Mariga was going to flop. Personally, I've looked at all factors and I've come to the conclusion that Project McDonald Mariga in Kibra is going to flop. And these are the reasons why I think the project is going to flop. Number one is the choice of the party. Politics in Kenya revolve around tribes. But in Nairobi, it, is, it doesn't revolve really around tribes. It revolves around political parties. And Kibra is not known to support Jubilee Party. McDonald Mariga, I mean, McDonald Mariga has been nominated to contest on a Jubilee ticket. And you have looked at the figures in the last elections, especially in Kibra. And I concentrated on the figures of the president and that of the senator. And the gap between Ray Ludinga and President Ruru Kenyatta in Kibra was wide. And in Kibra, if you look at the Senate, because in Senate, that's where it was pitting two lawyers. We had uh, Edwin Sifuna, who just joined the senatorial, the senatorial race towards the tail end. And we had Johnson Sakaja. You know, Johnson Sakaja is actually a respected politician in this country, and he enjoys support from across. And the fact that he projected himself as a lawyer, Johnson Sakaja still failed terribly in Kibra. So I want to ask you guys, can you just tell me how McDonald Mariga is going to win Kibra? I want you to tell me that. Because from the figures and from the numbers, they don't add up. The choice of Jubilee Party and Kibra, Nikama Maji Namafuta, it won't add up. So that's number one. The second thing is the project tag. Mariga is coming out as someone else project. And to be honest, is coming up as William Samoy Ruto's project. And people are speculating that is being used as a guinea pig to test run Ruto's influence amongst the lawyers, especially in Nairobi. And also to test the influence of celebrities in Kenyan politics. And someone has told me what William Ruto intends to, to, to do with Mariga in Nairobi is to test the influence of the celebrities. So it's a project. And the kind of celebrities which has been which have been lined up to go to go to Kibra to help Mariga campaign will shock you. Most of them have been lining up to lining up at William Ruto's office in Karen. People like so many of those artists, celebrities, any celebrities which you have seen in William Ruto's office, they are going to come in Kibra. So William Ruto want to test the influence of celebrities in Kenyan politics. And he's also going to use Mariga to test his influence over lawyer votes in Kibra. And that tag alone is going to scare so many people away from him. Number three is giving back to society. Mariga is a successful footballer. And even the brother is a successful footballer. The last time Menenga used their image, you remember, they took them to court. Denis Oliech was a successful footballer, but because of his generosity and love for life, Denis Oliech must have it. But McDonald Mariga is still a successful footballer, both on the pitch and outside. But the question which Kenyans are asking McDonald Mariga is, what are the projects he initiated while at the peak of his career? And McDonald Mariga, in my view, also goofed when he was given a chance to address the media at Jubilee office. He said he wants to be elected 
to give back to the society. Must you wait to be elected to give back to the society? We have so many people who are giving back to the society without seeking elective positions. And in my view, I think that's going to work negatively on Mark Donald Marida. The second thing which is going to affect McDonald Mariga and why his bid is going to flop is the false narrative about the number of lawyer votes in Kebra. You know, when William Ruto wanted Jubilee to award McDonald Mariga the certificate, he did one thing. He ran a propaganda on the media that lawyers are the majority in Kibra. I don't want to dispute those figures, the, the fact that lawyers could actually be the majority voters in Kibra. Not really, not really um, I don't want to dispute the fact that lawyers could be the majority in Kibra. I don't want to dispute that. But what I'm disputing is the lie that lawyers are the majority voters in Kibra. In Nairobi, traps decided at some point to identify constituencies and register in those constituencies. And Lewis, who are staying in Nairobi, at some point were registering, most of them, in, in Kibra and Langata, specifically to vote for Raila Odinga, because of the fear that Moi government and even Kibaki government wanted to, to ensure that he flops. And that has been maintained. And even lawyers in Nairobi identified a constituency during the Gumo's time, and that's Westland's constituency. And that's why lawyers always register in Westlands. And even cases now, because I was involved in a bit of some campaigns in Nairobi in the last election, cases, most of them registered in Dagoretti. Any lawyer will tell you that Dagoretti North Lawyers are the majority. But when it comes to voters, registered voters, majorities are cases. So going to Kibra with a false narrative that lawyers are the majority, that lawyers are 43,000, and then Lewis follows closely with 28,000, that's a wrong narrative. And even if it were true, the lawyers and the Lewis and the cases in Nairobi are known to vote as a block. All over. That's from the time immemorial. If you consider 2017, you consider 2013, you go to 2007, lawyers and lawyers in Nairobi, they vote as a block. That's why in, in Nairobi, it's very difficult to separate the lawyer candidate and the law candidate and the Kisix candidate. So, Mariga will make history by trying to wedge, I mean, by breaking that pattern. And if anything, even if it goes to that, Ma even if it goes to that, Mariga is not going to be the beneficiary of the lawyer votes. The only person who is likely to benefit from lawyer votes in Kibra this time round is Eliud Owalo. Not because of any other thing, but because Eliud Owalo is running on ANC ticket. ANC is, associ is associated with the lawyers. And that's why it has presence in places like Vihiga, it has presence in places like Kakamega, and ANC has elected officials, elected leaders in Kakamega, in Vihiga, and other parts of Western Kenya. And the fact that they have elected leaders in those regions means it's a party which the lawyers can embrace. So they can easily vote for ANC. And the other reason they could vote for him is the Mudavadi factor. If they intend to elevate Mudavadi, then they can easily vote for Eludowalo in Kibra to show Mudavadi that at least now you are ready. But for lawyers in Nairobi to vote for Jubilee is going to be an uphill task. So Malriga banking on the lawyer votes in Kibra is not going to succeed. And even if we go further, apart from the lawyer votes, the Kikuyu votes, how many are they in Kibra? And if Kikuyu votes are going to Umata, did they vote for... Uru in 2013? Did they vote for him in 2017? I don't think so. Number five is lack of political experience. Mariga is new in politics. This one was confirmed with the kind of answers he gave when he was interviewed. 
He was asked a very simple question. Why are you running in Kibra? I'm running in Kibra because I want to give back to the society. What kind of answer is that? And you know, politics is dirty. And you know, you can be sure of one thing. ODM is going to destroy Maria. That one be assured. Even if it will not be their strategy, I'm sure the ODM brigades are going to come with, up with something which is going to destroy Mariga completely because of his lack of experience in politics. Number six, it is alleged that Mariga is not a registered voter. And I'm sure and I'm aware there are people who are going to court, I think next week, on that account. And we are likely going to see a similar fate which befell that beautiful lady, Kathy Kilonzo. Remember, Kathy Kilonzo was the person who was destined to be the senator for McQueen. But Jubilee went to court on the account that she was not a registered voter. Nobody had, has seen Magdalena Mariga register as a voter in this country. Nobody has ever seen him vote in this country. So there's these people believe that McDonald Mariga is not a registered voter. But in this country, you never know. William Samuel Ruto still has the al algorithm, the IBC algorithm. And he still has his sympathizers at, at um, IBC. So they can they can fix that before that time. But McDonald Mariga is not a registered voter. And that alone is enough to 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 flop his his bid. And lastly is the Jubilee nominations. Remember, Mariga never applied, never expressed interest to contest for Kibra. He was convinced by someone to try his luck. And there are people who applied, who wanted that seat. And most of them are not happy. And apart from that, it's not going to be easy for Mariga because just like I, I posted in my previous video, you can check. That nomination of Mariga was a contest between allies of the deputy president and allies of President Uhuru Kenyatta. And the deputy president succeeded. He outwitted, outmaneuvered, and outsmarted all of them. But now they're still coming back. And already, someone has lodged a formal complaint that the nomination process was not fair. What is that going to do to Mariga, especially his bid? In my view, that is intended to slow him down and disorient him. And if anything, it's going to divide you further. And we are likely to see William Ruto's allies campaigning in Kibra. And we are going to see President Uru Kenyatta's allies, people like Rafael Tujo, avoiding Kibra. And people who would have been very critical to Jubilee in Nairobi, people like Johnson Sakalia, they are likely to support the ODM candidate. If not, they'll avoid Kibra politics. And remember, there's also Eli Dowalo. Eli Dowalo is a formidable candidate in Kibra. The last time he was, he gave Ken Okoth a run for his money. And in fact, there are those who believe Eli Dowalo was just stopped by certain forces within ODM. And now he decided he's running on ANC ticket. So this bid of McDonald Mariga, in my view, is a flop. So McDonald Mariga must choose now to wait and go up to the elections because right now he can't withdraw. Then after going to the elections, then he must try how he's going to mend his, his, his image again because it's going to be destroyed. So if you're bumping on this video for the first time, what you do on this channel is simple. We are trying to analyze politics. And the best thing you can do is to hit the subscribe button. And to the subscribers, I want to thank you guys for your continued support. I keep on getting a lot of messages from you guys. And if you have anything, if you have anything you want me to talk about or any suggestion, you can always reach me on my WhatsApp number, which is 0777741323. The number is purely WhatsApp. You know that is purely WhatsApp, so you can't call but you can send WhatsApp, you can call via WhatsApp. And if I'm free, I'll always respond to those messages. Thank you guys, and please enjoy the day.